Welcome to Tweet Seeds! Hey guys, we're back in Boiling Rock, North Carolina at Tweetsie Railroad for the opening day. Come along for a train ride. First one of the season. Hey guys. How you doing? How's it going? Opening day. Can't be better. No, can't be better. Can't be more beautiful at 30. Exactly. Oh yeah, it's a gorgeous day. Yep. So, Tweetsie has a new chaperone policy. Ages 15 or under must be accompanied by a responsible adult chaperone who is 21 years or older. All aboard the Tweetsie Railroad. Casey Jones, let's ride. The train is clear, Casey. How are you, Catherine? Howdy. Howdy. Don too. Where is anybody? Don't you worry. They're in good hands. But the rest of the gang. We monsters! Monsters! Hold it right there, Sheriff! You don't know who you're messing with. Oh, I know who I'm messing with. Your tweets is most wanted, boy. Really? Didn't know that either. Oh! Hey! Oh! Oh! You get over there! Your seats. Casey Jones, you better do as they say and take the train up to Fort Boone. Like I said, we have to be prepared for anything. Take your seat and go get on up to Fort Boone and see what the trouble is all about. Doug is sifted for gold, silver, and precious gemstones. Maybe later you might want to trek up to Miner's Mountain and turn it over to Prince's Mountain. It is a gorgeous day today. That's absolutely perfect day for the opening Tweetsie. And it's starting to warm up. Whenever we come to Tweetsie, you gotta stop at the jail. You never know who's gotten themselves in trouble. We got the reward posters here. Handsome Dave Orman, Saddlebag Stella Sexton. All right. Amy, what are you doing in the jail? Loitering. Loitering? Yes. Well, why don't you see if you can get yourself out? I'll do my best. Ah. The other way. I'm free! Decisions, decisions. Got some new additions around the park. That's cute. I don't remember seeing that last year. No, they had the uh, two lit trees over here. That's last right. Year. Well, we're here at the uh, Tweetsie Palace, home of Donald Mills Can Can Review. Let's go in and see it. It's always a fun show. It is. See what they've changed up this year. Sounds good.
going up to Miners Mountain and you've got a stroller or just don't feel like taking the chairlift or walking the path, come over here past the uh, Tweetsie Palace. There is a bus stop. Would you come right over here and take you right up to Miners Mountain. Yeah, speaking of which, there's the bus now. It's insane just how much fun something so slow can be. If yeah, this seat is still <laughs> so cold. Yeah, while it is absolutely gorgeous today, the crowds aren't that heavy because it's so cold. It, yeah, it's colder than what they originally thought it was going to be. Yeah, we got Ooh. here this morning. It was, what, 39? <sighs> felt like 31? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, hasn't warmed up much. You don't have to here we me. are up at the top. I think they've repainted the, uh, no. No, I thought just, they had repainted the Tweetsie logo, but it's just nice and bright. And we're now on Miner's Mountain. For those that don't know, Miner's Mountain is the kitty area for Tweetsie. It's a family park, but this is for the wee ones and those that are young at heart. Like you? Yeah, of course. It's how I stay so good looking. Anyway. So of course, since we are up here, we have to take a ride on the cheese mine train. There we go. One of the things I love about Tweetsie is how the entire park is integrated with the surrounding landscape. Definitely uh, geared for the kids. Ice cream, face paint, miner's diner. Nice uh, outdoor seating here. And they do have a couple of uh, kids' rides. The planes. This is a favorite of our kids. I think it's a favorite of any kids. Yeah, probably so. Anything that gets you up off the ground. And the boats. Yeah, this was actually another one of the kids' favorites. That was yeah, a while ago. Yeah, the trip was ago. keeping their hands out of the water. Yes. And they have a gym mine. So if you said do the gym mining, you've got two different size buckets you can get. Small one's 14, large one's 20. Guaranteed to find something. Oh yeah, the Tweetsie Twister. My ribs still hurt from Will slamming into me on this <laughs> thing. That was 15 years ago. But he had fun on the ride. Well, at least one of us did. It was fun though. Why are you up here at Miner's Mountain? If you pick up anything for you or the kids, uh, you don't have to carry it around all day. They do have the package pickup service and uh, pick it up at the uh, Happy Trails toy shop down on Main Street. We're actually crossing over the mouse mine. So here's the bus stop. Yeah, drops you off right at the very top of the mountain. Right and here by the deer park. Let me grab us some... Uh, couple of cones. A couple of cones so that we can interact with the animals a little better. Sounds good. Shall we go feed some animals? Sounds good, let's go feed some animals. All right, they call it a deer park, but there's a lot more than just deer in here. There is. European fallow deer. Caution, critters may nip. European <laughs> <laughs> goats. 
Ah, that's the bigger goat over there, without the horns. I think he's interested. In... Here, give me a little bit. Ooh. Ooh, not quite that much. Here we go. Here are the llamas. <laughs> yeah, you got a new friend? Oh, look over there. Can you zoom in? Try Look at the babies. So cute. Yeah, Mama's a little protective there. <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> so this miniature horse. Give me more. As soon as you got that one, we'll go over and get this to the burrows. Yeah, the rest of them are having lunch over there. You got some hand sanitizer, baby? Okay. Here you go. Hey. Ooh, sorry. That was my finger you were grabbing. You got yourself a bit there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry I don't have anything. <laughs> Poor Burrow, the horse takes it all. These goats are so cute. Sorry, we're out of food. <laughs> so not only do they have some hand sanitizers around throughout the uh, deer park they also have a hand wash station at the very end before you leave so and they let's... do recommend you should wash your hands before exiting yes and back down we go gives you a really good view of the country fair there are some things in the country fair i would love to ride today it's just too cold i mean we'll it has back. warmed up a good bit but it's still not exactly what you would call balmy no nice aerial view of main street so you can see the old walking trail compared to the new one the old walking trail is kind of in the center of the screen the new walking trail is a couple of people coming down it but they put that in uh, when they put in the spinning coaster what is it barrel of fun barrels of fun barrels of fun which is actually a lot more fun than what you would think. It really is. So is the, I can never remember the name of that. Buckaroo Drop? I think it's Buckaroo Drop. The tornado is fun, but I can't really do it anymore. Looks like they've added some benches in the uh, ride area. That was much needed, so he had somewhere to wait while other people were on the rides. Welcome to the country fair. Every time I see this one, I try to call it the county fair. It's because there's a county fair section in Carowinds, isn't there? That and I grew up going to county, county fairs. County fairs. Yep. Not as fun as the state fairs, but... No. But this country fair is pretty fun. Uh, it is. One of my favorites, carousel. Well, to be fair, any carousel is your favorite. Well, point. Yeah, they don't have too many of the rides running today with the temperature, but... Now, this is the original, older section of the country fair. Yes. What theme park is complete without an arcade? Unfortunately. <laughs> Look, it's a cow bench. Goes along with the horse bench down uh, in the Hacienda area. Yeah. All right, so I stand corrected. I thought that they had the other rides uh, closed down, but yeah, the Tilt a Whirl's going. Yeah, I can't get on that going. one again either, the Tilt a Whirl. Yeah, not right now. 
Oh, the planes are going this time. Looks like they've repaved it to the world, though. It does. At least the cars. Yeah. Then, of course, the Ferris wheel. With the wind and temperature today, uh, that would be uh, rather cool ride. Yeah. You'd definitely be awake. Oh, yes. Hey, look, it's the ride height restrictions. Are you tall enough to ride anything here? I can ride everything here. Yeah, just barely. But you do top it for all of them. But the nice thing about this is it shows you the height uh, minimum for each of the different rides. Yep. So if you have any question, you can come look at this. Turnpike cruises are a perennial favorite here at Tweetsie. There come a couple of them now. Yeah, the Turnpike Cruiser track encircles all of the lower, all of the original section of the country fair. Now let's go to the uh, upper section. To get to the upper section, you come past the arcade, and what looks like it would be a uh, maintenance area. But it is, in fact, the ramp to the top. They took out one of my favorite rides. But, coming this summer... To be summer, fair, I mean, that ride was probably 50 years old. Yeah. But it's fun. Coming this summer... The Bullwhip. And as we find any information on the Bullwhip, we will let you know. And here's the Barrels of Fun roller coaster. It was one of the new rides last year. And this is the top section of the country fair. And the other new ride last year was the Buckaroo Drop. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, opening day at Tweetsie. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, even with it being cold, uh, it was an absolute blast. Uh, looking forward to the 2024 season and many other trips up here. Yes, we will bring you along for other different events that were here this year and uh, just enjoy what Tweetsie has to offer. So we'll see you on the next excursion. All right. Bye, guys.